Ooh, Parliament House with the big cheeses hang out. Welcome everyone to Real Estate TV, the show that brings you all things regarding real estate. You could be buying, maybe selling, even renovating. We'll look into all aspects of the advice we give us by professionals involved within the industry. I'm Pete Rosen and welcome to the program. What a wonderful show it is today. Starting at Parliament House and meandering our way down through the city. Ooh. Oh, my wonderful friend Alan, he catches up with John Delavis from our premium partners HIA. And also John Delavis discusses the CEO sleep out a great call. You get to bring along a sleeping bag and you find a spot and sleep on cardboard for the whole night. It is a really tough experience. That's just one night for us and many people are doing that night after night after night. And, uh, and that's what's quite distressing about the whole uh, situation. Aaron catches up with Sasha from Million Dollar Makeovers. She's dressed up as Wonder Woman, I wonder why. What we do every day is amazing, just in what we do in our, in our working world, but there is a far greater thing that is more amazing that we can be doing if we all chip in and everybody collaborates. We all give a little and it means a lot. And the weeds catch us up with our wonderful Lord Mayor Lisa Scafidi discussing the cultural revolution that's happening in Perth. It's a revolution, I say! I live and work in the city and I describe it that Perth's time has really arrived. Welcome everyone to Real Estate TV! on the weekend is to come into the city. I love shopping, I love discovering all the laneways filled with trendy bars and cafes, but the one thing I don't love is having to find parking, pay a fortune for it, and then drive all the way home. I'm so envious of people that don't have to worry about that, and I'm gonna find out how I can have that lifestyle too. Daniel, tell me about these amazing apartments. I've heard already so much, I'm already in love. Yeah, look, they're fantastic. Obviously, we've already talked about the location with Pete on Murray Street, right near King Street, and all the action of the city. But the apartments themselves are stunning. There's a great range of one bedrooms, studios, and two bedrooms, mm -hmm. starting from 295,000. So pretty much for a first home buyer, I could be potentially in one of these beautiful apartments. Absolutely, look, that's the whole idea. We have studios starting from 295, uh, right through the 300s. We have large one beds ranging from about 375,000, two bedrooms from 475,000. Now, one thing I did see was about level 30. Yeah, level 30 is where all the fun's gonna be had. There's a 25 metre infinity pool, mm -hmm. so you've got the city views, cabanas, sun lounges, private dining and entertaining rooms, so you can have functions, outdoor cinema, so you can watch special sporting events and things like that. So it's pretty much not just living, it's actually celebrating life and having your friends over and having a great pool party. Exactly, look, you live in your apartment, but you entertain outside of it and on the fifth floor we've got an exercise area another swimming pool a gym a spa a sauna so that's where you go to work out level 30 is where you go to have fun I like the fact that it starts at 295 especially when I can go and spend more down at uh, King Street I love my shopping <laughs> Shop your heart out. and that's what I'm about to go and do all right enjoy <laughs> I just got my fashion fix. Now, if you want to find out more about this envious lifestyle, head to envyperth.com for more information. I'm going to go and do some more shopping. The federal election is just around the corner, and the HIA has been hard at work preparing the residential building industry's policy imperatives called Housing Australians. John, just how important is the industry to Australia? The housing industry has been the economic driver uh, and economic growth for the residential housing industry, generating over $306 billion in construction activity and over 60,000 jobs. When the industry is going particularly strong, you find it a significant increase through the multiplier effect on job creation is higher, but also uh, economic activity is in excess of half a trillion dollars. So it's a, it's a massive industry and one that needs support. So what are the challenges as you see them? Well, there are many challenges. HA has developed its 40 policy imperatives titled Housing Australians. Uh, one of the key policy imperatives is around tax reform. The HIA has commissioned uh, recently independent research by the Centre of International Economics to look at tax 
within the residential housing industry, particularly on a new home. And what it found though, there was excessive amounts of tax and fees and charges levied on the residential housing industry. And in Perth alone, that accounts for 41% of a new home. So it's excessive taxation on an industry that's providing shelter. So we believe that the tax reform is a really important component to the next federal election. So what are the specifics to overcome the problem? We've outlined the 40 policy imperatives. What we'd like to see the community do is to get in contact with their federal member and tell them they need to act and they need to act now. If they go to the website, hia.com.au forward slash election, they can download the PDF uh, of the policy imperatives, but also they can click on some really important tabs, the economic outlook that HIA see, as well as our HIA's policy on things like negative gearing. And we'd love for consumers to get in contact with their local federal member and provide support on the policy imperatives to assist not only housing Australians, but also housing affordability for every Australian. Thanks, John. Good to talk to you again. And we'll be back a little later in the show with something that I know is very near and dear to your heart. With HIA, you're in good hands. Ooh, the gateways. After the break, a million dollar makeovers renovation reveal. I can't wait to see it. It's in Mount Claremont at the Marlow. See you then. to say that I am so proud of this massive transformation. In just 16 weeks, myself and my incredibly talented team have completely redesigned this home and just look at the quality of this stunning family abode. Sitting in the old kitchen, it used to be half the size and now look at it, it's a huge gourmet space. Now this was a very dated colonial Australian style home stuck in the 80s. There was walls everywhere so it was very compartmentalised. So what I've done is redesigned for open plan living and the family needs. They've got three beautiful girls and a large Italian family so the kitchen always has to be the hub of the entertainment space. And I've created a two-tone kitchen here so I've popped contrast between chocolate stone tops and softer white tops. This kitchen has every appliance you can imagine and all of the finer features and quality of interior design and the whole home has all of the elements to create a beautiful dining and entertaining space. you just love a large luxurious bathroom. Now this oversized deluxe bathroom I've custom designed with beautiful classic cabinetry and feature lighting popping a contrast in the copper tones and the tiling in here is also a feature so not stock standard straight tiling I've done a gorgeous herringbone mixed with the subway and the beautiful thing is this is an ensuite which flows into the master bedroom now I love this space aside from the gorgeous kitchen and living areas this master suite is my favourite part of the house. It's very romantic, we've got a sea grass wallpaper, beautiful four poster bed and the linen and cushions, it is just so sumptuous. The clients can move back in and slip straight into their bed. Okay girls, thank you for having me. Bye. 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 Thank you. They are very cute and this place is beautiful because the parents wanted to create a zone for the girls where they could have their own place. 
And what I really love about this house, and it's very important to family living, is that if mum and dad are in the kitchen or entertaining, they can shut off and have the noise a little bit lower, but they can also watch the girls through here and make sure they're safe. And it's their own little zone, their own little playroom, and it's still incorporated with all the main family living areas. Now these girls are just too cute, and this house is beautiful for the entire family. Well, this home was definitely in challenge, but I'm sure you'll agree it looks amazing. In fact, I think it looks like a million dollar makeover. Do you want a kitchen that not only looks good, but functions well? Could you do with more storage that fits your life? Or would you like an office that inspires creativity? Well, you need Flexi Storage wardrobes, offices, and kitchens. Flexi Storage are the experts when it comes to kitchens, wardrobes, and office fitouts. They design, create, and build storage solutions that truly inspire. To add function to your life, head to flexi.com.au. After the break, Louise catches up with our Lord Mayor Lisa Scafidi and discusses Perth's cultural revolution. Oh, it's all. On any given night in Australia, over 100,000 people are forced to sleep outside in the elements. The 2016 Vinnie's CEO Sleepout aims to help that, and so too does John DeLarvis. John, good on you. This is your second CEO Sleepout, isn't it? Yeah, thanks, Alan. It's uh, my second year doing it. The, the first year was, uh, was a really humbling experience, I've got to say. Once we arrive, we're, we're lucky enough to be given a cup of soup and we're, we're ushered into a room and we get a, a presentation from someone that has been homeless and has experienced that, that level of distress and they provide their experience and their life experience about where they ended up. It's truly remarkable and you get a real appreciation for what people are going through. So you're raising money and awareness for the situation. You're at the Wacker, mm. you're outside, you're on the concrete, mm. you've got a sleeping bag and that's it. Yeah, that's it. You get, you get to bring along a sleeping bag and you find a spot and sleep on cardboard for the whole night. It is a really tough experience. That's just one night for us and many people are doing that night after night after night and, uh, and that's what's quite distressing about the whole uh, situation that we currently currently find ourselves. Myself and a number of other CEOs in Western Australia participate. Our own Aaron Pitt from Real Estate TV uh, was there last year and we're doing it again this year. I think it's, uh, it's really important that CEOs do support this important initiative and we'd like to see more and more get involved, not just this year but, but in future years. How do we follow your progress? Well, last year I had raised about $4,800, so I'd like to get to 5000 at least this year. If you go onto ceosleepout.org.au and there's a search bar, if you search for John Jalavis on that search bar, you'll come up with my profile and any donation would be fantastic and I'd love to, to raise as much as I can for a really important cause not just in WA but right across the nation. And I bet you're brand new the next day. I can tell you, you're very rough <laughs> indeed. With HIA you're in good hands. Since walking around this city I've noticed such an electric vibe so I thought I'd come straight to the source. Lisa, there has been so many positive things happening in the city, especially with all of the apartment buildings, going to bring so many more people into the city and get that great lifestyle and it's just fantastic. I agree. I feel it every day. I live and work in the city and I describe it that Perth's time has really arrived. We now are truly recognised as a capital city in the state of Western Australia. Absolutely. We're the western gateway of the Australian continent, we're the eastern gateway to the Indian Ocean Rim and we're in the same time zone longitudinally of 61% of the world's population. You've been such a champion to get all of these changes happening and the growth. You must be so 
so positive. Look, I am a very positive person and you need to be in a role where you're encouraging others to grasp your vision and allow you to move forward with it. We came out of a period around 2007 where Perth was sadly and very wrongly described as Dullesville. And we needed to create a change or flip our script somehow and encourage people to stay, linger, but they needed to be excited to do so. And that only came about with changes in the small bar licensing, new infrastructure, aesthetic improvements, the uplighting of Council House, which everyone loves, and of course, commitments to big projects that we had been championing for decades, such as sinking the railway line to create the link, the Elizabeth Quay, which was known as the waterfront previously. I think it's probably fair to say Perth used to be described as a gawky teenage girl, and now she's maturing into a very sexy West Coast woman, and she's exuding her allure on the international scene. Well, I absolutely love that. I'm glad that I chose to live here. <laughs> That's so good. There really is so much to discover in this great city at the moment. If you would like to discover more about what's happening in Perth, check out Metropolitan Redevelopment Authority at mra.wa.gov.au and the City of Perth at perth.wa.gov.au. Present your house like a home with the team at Furniture Hire and Styling Australia. To make sure your home looks its absolute best for sale, you need the right advice, the right experience and the best quality furniture and accessories. Furniture Hire and Styling Australia can bring out the best in your home with their huge range of coffee tables, dining suites, sofas, lamps and plenty more. Don't put an empty house on the market, make it a home with Furniture Hire and Styling Australia. For more information, get onto fhsa.com.au or follow the links from our website. After the break, two fantastic things are happening. One, Aaron's talking to Sasha De Breton from Million Dollar Makeovers, always great. Second part, the kicker, is she's dressed as Wonder Woman. Why? She's raising money for kids in Kenya. Can't wait! When it comes to home renovations, there really is no better than Sasha de Breton and her team at Million Dollar Makeovers. And now, of course, the renovation company. I mean, over the years, we've watched her and her team transform an ordinary house into stunning homes. What they do, some might say, is extraordinary. Some might even accuse Sasha of being, well, the wonder woman of home renovations. Well, I can confirm, ladies and gentlemen, Sasha de Breton is, in fact, wonder woman. <laughs> look at you, you look amazing. How are you? You realise you're on the home show? Yeah. What are we doing here? So, I renovate all these homes around Perth, right? And I feel that we're very privileged in Australia to have what we have. We have lots of clients that are able to renovate these amazing homes. And what I do for every home that we renovate, we now donate to building a home in Africa. So, well, today... Today is a, a bit of fun for the trades where I've rallied all of my trades and my suppliers together mm -hmm. and we're raising to donate to build these homes and a school in Africa. So when we renovate a home, one, when a client does a renovation, we donate a few thousand to build these homes. And the second thing is, when we gut a home, when we're gonna start the renovation, rather than putting everything in the skip bin, which is waste, I'm big into recycling. So we're selling tapware, we're selling baths, we're selling old kitchens. Somebody else's trash is somebody else's treasure. So with the client's approval, we sell off their goods on Gumtree. Mm -hmm. We take that cash and we donate it to building homes in Africa. I gotta tell you, I've never thought of doing that. And it makes sense because because you really take, you're taking stuff out that still works. Yeah. It just might not be cool for that house. Well, exactly, and it's all in good condition. And you know, I've got a national plight that I want to get all builders on board to stop all this wastage, start recycling. Let's sell off secondhand goods and let's take that money and give them a house because we're so fortunate and we're so lucky. So today is about all of my trades and suppliers having a bit of fun, but it's for a serious cause. Oh, there's, some, there's some big guys out there as yeah. well, I tell you. I'm and glad I'm not got, in a bubble. You know, <laughs> Like we're, you know, we have got power. I'm Wonder Woman, these are my superheroes. But <laughs> what we do every day is amazing just in what we do in our, in our working world. But there is a far greater thing that is more amazing that we can be doing if we all chip in and everybody collaborates. We all give a little and it means a lot. But when you have CEOs like yourself, now you're one of the leading female, dare I say it, female CEOs, if not in Perth, Australia. When people like you stand forward, 
yeah. and bring the same sense of values to a charity that you bring to your business. Well, I've seen what you've done over the last 10 years. Amazing things are going to happen because yeah. of you. You must yeah. feel... How do you get the time? How many hours are in your day? Well, look, I've got an awesome team behind me and if you run a good business and if you're in a position to give back, and even if you're not in a position, it can just be a little donation. Anybody can donate. But I want to help women in business. I want to help all people in business. I want to help people have a dream home. I want to help the third world. So it, it's about somebody having a voice. And, and for us, we're donating ourselves, but the general public can donate. You don't have to do a renovation to donate. You can donate to this charity, even if it's 50 bucks, 100 bucks. It's going to make a big difference. What about if someone's difference. got something at home they, they think is really good still, it might be worth some money, they could yeah. probably send a picture or email it to you and yeah. you can see yeah. if you can actually get some money for it. We can sell stuff on Gumtree and the great thing in Africa is when we build these homes and we, they select a family, their family and friends and volunteers come and help build and that's why it's so cheap to build because they're not working, they've got the manpower, they need food on the table, they need shelter over their heads so everybody rallies together. We can build these homes so cheaply and it means like so much to them. And when someone gets out and leads, it's going to be successful. Now, if you want to help this lady and a fantastic team raise money for a fantastic cause, jump on a million dollar makeovers.com.au and give. Thank you. Oh, you're amazing. Thank you. You are Wonder Woman. I knew it. I knew she was Wonder Woman. <laughs> Woo. Oh, yeah. Had a stroll around the town and smashed it. It's the best way to do it. Have a walk, people. Good times. Ah, uh, that's it for the program. We're done, we're dusted. If you loved it, go to the website, realestatetv.com.au. Have a look around. There's old episodes, this episode, there's products, the whole kit and caboots. Have a great rest of your weekend, everyone. I might segue out of here. I'm gonna use a segue next time I go through the city. You can do that. You can segue through the town and let's segue to another show on seven. Go on, let's segue in. And that's a wrap.